What is up guys, Nolly here, bringing you another fast leveling video for Payday 2. Uh, in this one we're going to be buying the contract rats on Overkill. As you see it's really expensive if you're off your account. You may not want to do this until very late on in the game, or you just want to maybe want to try and find other people playing rats Overkill. Uh, I'm just going to solo it for the ease of me doing it and not having to be on the internet. Let's buy this contract. So this is going to be quite hard, uh, I've never tried soloing it before, I've done it with two people and it's, it's not the hardest with two people. But you're going to want trip mines, probably, trip mines are going to help you out, and the shape charger skill, and obviously whatever your best armor is. Okay, so I've seen lots of people actually do this online, it seems to be quite Quite a useful way of leveling up quickly. This guy doesn't seem to notice me. Oh. Please don't kill me. <laughs> See, uh, at the start of this mission, you're gonna want to run, want to run right up to the top. There goes our cock. Uh. I have just swapped screens. So this is a bit odd to me. This guy, wait, was that offering me to buy his corpse? That's very odd. Okay, let's grab the ingredients. I think this is enough. So you're going to want to grab all the ingredients you can get. Also, take with you the AI. They're only going to help. They're going to sponge bullets. Use trip mines to help me escape. I'll obviously be, obviously be leaving out of that door. And the next part is sort of based on luck, whether or not you get to uh, start cooking the meth early or later. Let's hope it's early. Before I get terribly surrounded. Hi, Chains. <laughs> Seems okay. I've known it actually for you to be able to uh, start cooking the meth already. Bag this corpse. You alright, Hoxton? This is gonna be a slightly longer video than usual. And there we go. We're going to be acid so just to make sure. And now you're gonna want to run as quickly as possible and not get blown up. Excuse me, Taser people. I was actually quite close, I nearly died. Okay, so sometimes you get uh, escape missions. We'll see what this one is. Just so, there's, there's lots of different ways to deal with the different escape missions you can get. Let's hope it's the, uh, just the sprinting one. It is not. One could be a bit of a pain. Okay. Honestly, Dallas and Chains will do most of the work. The AI really isn't that awful. At, at combat, that is. They're pretty terrible at other parts of the game, but they can at least shoot things. So we're going to hide out in here. You can actually sort of stealth this and no one will notice you. If it says they've secured the chopper, it's most likely you're going to want to sprint up there by the end. Oh, excuse me. But this is pretty perfect cover. So I'm just going to skip out until we get to the chopper. This strategy is absolutely foolproof. My windows aren't looking too clever. However, I've actually been tabbed out for the last three minutes, not doing a thing. And Chains and Dallas will be doing all the fighting. There's lots of bullets. These are obviously not mine. And the chopper should be here any minute now. Oh, you're bleeding through my wall. Okay, it was not in the normal place, which is odd to me. In fact, this is more of a pain where it is. Normally, like I say, it spawns up there. Oop. Ah, we made it. So that was actually quite a hard one. 
like a four minute long wait. And then when we actually got into the, uh, when the chopper arrived, it was quite a hard run. But we succeeded. Obviously it isn't always like that. You can often get it much easier. Okay. Time to do the second part. Right, obviously we don't have any meth, so this is going to be slightly harder. Doesn't matter if they do destroy the intel. We don't need to defuse any C4. Hopefully Dallas and Hoxton can do as good a job as they did last time. This guy's an idiot, this guy's an idiot. Shotgun is often a two shot because it's silenced against these guys. Oh. Excuse me. Now then, there are lots of different locations the save could be. Could have been there. In fact, I was banking on it being there. The longer it takes me to find, the worse of a situation it's going to put me in as far as escaping is concerned. Hello friend. Okay, we're going to try this half now. This is the route I would advise you guys run to. The police are going to arrive now. I do actually need to hit them. That would help. And we found it, apparently. <laughs> God, don't know where it is, but I found it. And it's been burned, which doesn't make the slightest bit of difference. Uh, how best to do this? There's a guy outside my door. Excuse me. Uh, Dallas chains, please. Something, dude. Words. Oh, good. They are kind of surrounding me. This could be terrible. If he gets this revive, it's okay. Good job, man. <laughs> he killed himself so we could succeed. And we didn't get the second chase. The second chase would have been extremely easy to do. You just have to run through a multi-story car park, blow up two doors, or lot pit two doors. And an escape is very easily done. But that obviously could have gone better if we'd found it earlier. We wouldn't have been trapped by a lot of police. And it's also a lot easier with more than one person. Now we're on to the final. What is that? Ace pilot? I've never really looked at these assets. We're going to do the final part of rats. And that is the C4 part. These guys are not even looking at me. Hey, attention. God damn it. God, I cannot hit a thing. There goes my shields already. That's embarrassing. Excuse me. Don't ask about my awful aim. It's early in the morning. What can I say? Yes. Good idea, police officer. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I missed point blank. And there they go. Mendoza's our history. We don't even have to try and defuse the C4. I have no interest in money at this point. Look at this guy. He's not sure whether he should shoot at me or not. Go on, do it. Uh, you okay? Bye oh, bye. Oh, I got him! Victory is mine. 
So you're not going to get a whole lot of money. Obviously the real money comes from the loot bag items. What you are going to get is an absolute ton of experience. You're going to get a lot more if you play in a team. I would advise that. Soloing it is not only difficult, but it's less rewarding. Well, let's just wait and see what we get for our reward. Okay, great. Probably some... Oh, I haven't actually got that. I'm never going to use that, but hey. I, I really need more masks. <laughs> anyway, guys. I advise you employ this way to level up. Probably once you get past level 50 is when it becomes viable. Uh, you're going to get about, if you do it in a team, you get about 200,000 experience, which is, even at the later levels, a fair bit. You're going to level up about every two rats overkill, and well, I soloed that in about 10 minutes. If you get luckier with your chase, you could probably do it in 5 minutes a pop. This is definitely the fastest way to level up in the later levels. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.